if you could go back to your younger self when you first entered crypto, what's a piece of advice you would give your younger self? <laughs> you should have bought that ape. Me too. And you Relatable. probably, yeah. The punks, okay. There was a few, but the apes felt overpriced and they weren't. <laughs> And, and, and how does that translate, you know, some, something practical that, you know, is that you telling yourself be more open-minded or look for the trends harder? Yeah, I think um, it's, a re- that, it's a really good question. I think if I went back now, be, go less on your own instinct and, and dive into some of these communities. Because actually a lot of the key, like a lot of the clues are there already. And I think with anything you well, with me particularly I'll do some research and then I'll exactly like I said like my gut instincts will say that's too expensive or that's a good idea and actually there is no gut instinct in a space that's brand new that's ridiculous like there's there's no precedent for what's going on so the best thing you can do is go and listen to an AMA with the founder go in you know nowadays like you can dive into the Twitter spaces you can join the discord and just get a sense of what's going on there and then you're I think far better equipped I'm very, um, I'm very skeptical on, you know, I come from a brand, you know, messaging, you know, I've done a lot of product design, proposition design. I know how to write something, right? A lot of people know how to write something. And I think there's like the art of a beautiful website and a really nice white paper with a load of fancy charts on it and a nice roadmap and all the caveats that come with it. They're great. And if I was looking to raise money, that's interesting that you can put together a pitch deck. But what are the people on the ground saying? What are the current holders saying? What, you know, how many people are joining that Discord? What is the growth rate looking like? How many partners are coming on board? You can tell a lot about people with people that they work alongside. And because there is always a due diligence process, if you're going to bring on, you know, and even when you look at something like Doodles that brought on Pharrell, you know, Pharrell is not going to risk his brand working with a company that is in any way looking like it's, you know, a little bit unstable, like he's just not going to do it. So I think when you when you start to dig into those kind of signals, that's when you can get a better sense of is this just shiny or is there actual substance underneath and people turning up when, um, you know, problems start as well. If people go silent when there's an issue that worries me as well. Um, when there's a criticism that's when you actually step up into the breach and and you have to have those tough conversations whether you're right or wrong it it really doesn't matter you've still got to be there so I think it's the the surrounding world rather than the, the presented world that's important yes great perspective to watch the full conversation there's a link down below in the video description and if you're interested in learning more about cryptocurrency Click subscribe. We drop a video every single day. You do not want to miss one. See you tomorrow.